Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday live. So I have the um, plant stand set to go. It took a little bit more effort to get this thing prepped for today than you will ever know. So we're going to chat about that a bit as well. So it looks like we have Nancy on uh, from Phoenix. Uh, Wilma says, hi, Sonnet. I'm coming from Ohio. Can't wait to catch, can't wait to see what you do to the plant stand. So let's talk about that. So on Monday, what we did is we painted the plant stand and we used a custom color uh, from one of the viewers. I believe it was Tracy. I'm like, oh my gosh, I should have probably wrote this down. Uh, lots has happened since Monday. And what the custom color was, um, was we used half skeleton, or sorry, 75% skeleton key and 25% bohemian blue. And so we broke that out. I'm just trying to see here where I put it right here. Um, so then you ended up with this beautiful blue. She said it was one of her favorite new colors. I said, I'm always up to trying something new. Uh, so we definitely, uh, yeah, I was inspired by the color that she created. She was trying to figure out how to create a Robin, Robin egg blue, and she definitely did it. Uh, so the top, I have to talk to you about that. The top had um, several layers of, oh gosh, now I can't even think of the name, like wood, but there's a name for it. It was definitely damaged due to having a plant on here, water damage. The outside was okay, but the center was cracked and lifted. So I wanted a really nice smooth surface to work with. And initially I'm like, oh, it's going to be a breeze. It's going to be a breeze to get the top off, but it wasn't. So I started, I actually injured myself. I was taking a screwdriver and just kind of like trying to pry it all up. In the end, I ended up getting like the complete center off. And then the edges was rock hard. I mean, I tried everything. I broke out my little tool with a sharp edge. I'm scraping. I was doing everything. I could not get it off. So I went to YouTube or actually, did I Google it or go to YouTube? I think I Googled it. And then YouTube had um, a video. A gal said, this is the best way to get this um, these layers off. So first and foremost, if you ever need to take a layer of, can somebody tell me what the name of, veneer, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind. Um, there were two layers of veneer, and if you ever need to get one off, this is by far the best way. So she recommended you soak a rag or rags because it was in the outer perimeter. I actually had several small just junk rags, and I set it all around, and they were wet, but not like so saturated water was pouring out of them. I left them on there for a couple hours to really saturate the rest of that veneer. Then what I did is I took my iron and I heated it up really like got it scalding hot. And then I put one of the junk rigs down and I set my iron on there and I left my iron on for quite a while and lifted it up. Oh my gosh, this is tipping over because I have it on a platform. Uh, but I lifted it up and then I took this and I could just peel it right off. I did not realize how much glue is in there though. It was so sticky. Like every time I peel a piece off, my fingers were just stickier than sticky. Um, but yeah, so I did that all the way around and I got that all off and, um, then I painted it white swan and it's all prepped. Uh, the base, I um, went ahead, I sanded it with my hand sander to distress it. And I'm going to show you guys some of like the distressing that did. And I sealed it. 
So I sealed it with Big Top and distressed it, and it is ready to rock and roll for today. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see who's all on. All right, Julie, she says, first live chat with Sonnet. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, we have Dion. Uh, hello. Uh, looks like Twigs and Berries. Hi from Ohio. At work watching. Have a break from my meeting. Awesome. Julie says, I love that color. Doris says, good morning. Joan says, hello from Nebraska. Well, thank you guys all for joining me today. So on Monday, how we ended the live was we did a brainstorming session. <laughs> And it went on for, I would say, like 15 minutes. We, After we got the whole base painted, we were all talking about what to put for the top. And I broke out all different uh, recycled papers. And finally, I cannot remember who said, but one of my viewers said, why not go with the new or what you use for the purse so if you guys caught my live last week i upcycled a purse and i used the new it's called carmen's color swatch and they said wouldn't that be perfect because somebody was talking about a mosaic and i was thinking oh a mosaic would be kind of fun but so this is kind of what we're going to go with. And I think it would be fun to incorporate some of the turquoises um, in here. So let's see here. All right. We have Judy from Texas. Hello. Hello. Aaron from New Berlin. Uh, Nancy from Little Shoot. Hello. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I, like I said, I want to incorporate those blues in here. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just kind of cut the paper in half. And you guys, I do have to tell you, I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off this morning. Right after the live, we are heading out of town. We are fishing a muskie tournament. Um, and I had to have my video ready for Friday. So um, I normally have a lot more time to work on my video when it's, you know, for Friday. And I had to have it uploaded by 10, well, basically before I started this live today. So that's why I didn't put a actual event out there because I didn't know if we were actually having the live. If the video would not have been fully completed, edited and uploaded, I would not have done the live. I would have said, no go, I'm sorry. But I got that all done. It is currently uploading. So I am praying that that is happening um, as we speak. And it looks like it is. So hopefully by the time I get off of here, it will be uploaded because when my husband gets home at 11, <laughs> we are packing the truck and heading north. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like my craziness going on right now. Uh, good morning, Dawn from Oxford, Wisconsin. Uh, Vicky's on. Good morning from Pittsburgh, working so just listening today. That's okay, Vicky. Courtney from Florida. Uh, Julie says, oh boy, good luck at the tournament. Thank you. It is actually, I just have to tell you guys, it is a really fun tournament. Normally, my husband and I fish together. How this tournament works, it is called the World Muskie Hunt, and it is out of Lake Tomahawk, Wisconsin. And uh, all these people volunteer to be guides, and they guide new um, fishermen, or the, like whoever is part of the tournament, I guess I should say. They guide those people. And uh, there are new hunters and past hunters, and I'm considered a past hunter or a past fisherman. And I, um, so every year I catch fish, I fish with the best guides, not that my husband's not you guys, but, um, it's just so fun and just, you know, you know, telling stories and hanging out. Um, so it's very relaxing, but lots to get done before I go. Um, 
Okay, so Aaron says, you didn't say how you and your husband placed in the last tournament. Fishing has been tough. Uh, Wisconsin weather has been crazy. So we actually did not catch a fish and not very many people did uh, as well. So um, it was just a good time. It was a, it we fished Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, we caught some fish, but unfortunately they were not legal to register. So it was just good to hang out with my husband and, you know, chat in the boat and relax and not think all about business. So it was just a good weekend. Um, Julie says, that sounds like fun. It is a lot of fun. All right. It looks like Sherry from Western North Carolina. I have to say thank you for all you do on here. I have watched a long time. Oh, I have to post this. This is really sweet. Um, I have watched a long time and ha you have encouraged me to do some of your projects. Now the five kids are grown and I keep the three grandbabies. I have a little time, haha, <laughs> but doing things I love and always have always wanted to do uh, making your barn stars and selling them. Thank you for all you do. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Oh, Joan, she says, oh my gosh, I almost forgot about your live. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so like I said, I'm going to just cut this paper in half so I can use the other half for another project. All right, we're setting, oh, I don't wanna. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. Okay, so my goal here is to try to get as much of the turquoise. I am actually going to turn the camera down. Can you, um, let's see. All right, can you guys all see that? So I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn, um, try to just get as much of this as possible. And all right, let me see here. If I just want to make sure you guys can. Okay. And look at my hanger fell on both my hangers. That was going to be part of a project this morning. Fell on the floor. Now you'll know what my life was like this morning as I was running around, like I said, like a chicken with my head cut off. Okay. So I think I got these are the blues here. And let me see, I think I just, okay, that's perfect. I actually, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off here. I'm gonna cut, where was that? Hold on one second. I want to, I think I'm gonna cut right here. That way I have this little bit as well. I hope this is where I said I was gonna cut. Multitasking at its finest. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside as well. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's see here. Um, do you carry that paper? Yes, I do. It is on my website and it is fully stacked. It is called Carmen's Color Swatch. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the liquid patina and which is definitely you guys by far my favorite decoupage medium because I've been doing a lot of decoupaging. I have my brush already set here. And we are just going to start by laying down a starter strip here. So I was going to use those hangers in a project and they must have fallen. Um, I, uh, like I said, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, I really need to clean this craft room. All right, so then I'm just taking my brush and I am going to smooth out any of those wrinkles. And it just smooths out really nice and easy. And then we're gonna just flip it. 
and we are going to just work our way this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to completely cover the piece here. And you want a nice, even layer. Let's see. Oh, Nancy! Oh my gosh! Nancy, I just have to write here, or I have to write. I just looked up and I saw this. Nancy bought a ticket to Debbie's party day in Sol Solana Beach after you mentioned it. Hope we can meet and say hi. I am going to be there, you guys. Yes. Awesome. I'm so excited. That is great. Um, uh, Vicky said, too, uh, absolutely love the purse you did with that paper. Super cute and fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now, oh, my word did not it's on a platform down here so what i'm gonna do then is i'm just gonna keep on smoothing it out like so and i've been noticing royce actually mists hers so i'm gonna try that um in the future to see if that helps at all i'm sure it does because royce does it Anything Royce does, right? <laughs> um, she is amazing. I'm just going to add a little bit more decoupage medium there. And a little bit right there. All right. Perfect. So then I am going to turn that off and I'm going to bring it back up so we can chat. Okay. So I'm going to put this away. Um, let's see. So, uh, Vicki also, another Vicki says, did you actually go through and look at them all after we were off air or did you just stick with this one? I did actually look at a couple of them and, um, the, okay. So to be honest, you guys, the one that I really wanted to do on the top here was the Bemis one. But after I sealed it or after I like distrusted and sealed the base, I just, it, the color was too off. And I was like, so disappointed. Cause I really, I thought the wording would look so cool right on top. I really did. I thought it would look awesome. But then I pulled this out and I'm like, you know what? This is actually going to look really awesome. I think it's going to look really good. I just want to make sure the edges here. Perfect. I love it. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. Um, but let's talk about, well, this is drying. I'm going to move this over because we saw that. And let's talk about the base. So one of the things that we discussed on Monday was adding a wax to the base. And honestly, I am kind of liking it how it is. I don't know if it needs a wax. But let's take a vote because I like to hear from my viewers and what you guys all think. Um, do you think we need wax? Do you think we, it's actually because of how bright it is in here with all my bright lights. Um, it, it comes across on here a little bit brighter than it actually is. It's a little bit more dark and so, um, Okay, no wax. I like it as is. I do too. Um, Sherry says she likes it as is. Julie says no wax. I I agree, but um, Nancy says it does look pretty just as is. I really think it does, you guys. And I think white, I don't know. I don't think I'd like the white. I think the white would change the color, and I really like the color that we created. Um, I'm glad we got to see it dry. I like it like this. So if you wax to seal, just clear. Okay. So yes, I actually sealed it already with Big Top. 
what I, I do like to seal with Big Top when I'm using um, some of my waxes. Um, so it just helps me have a little bit more control. So that way it doesn't like go all the way in um, to, it doesn't seal it th like that darkness. So that's how I like to do it. But I know some people like to seal with clear and then go um, with the other waxes. I sometimes do that as well. But just recently I started sealing with Big Top and then adding wax and I really like that. Okay, so yes, everybody's saying no wax. Let's see here. Looks good as is, but I'm sure it's slightly different in person. It is. It um it almost has like a dark wax appearance. Uh, I wish that it wasn't so bright in here, but I want you guys to see me. <laughs> um Okay, so Joan says, now that you distressed it, uh, she doesn't think it needs wax. Oh, Vicky goes, oh, Nancy, I want to go. I applied to sell DIY this last week and hoping by then to have it. So that would be great, but not sure I can. Oh, yeah, so um, it's going to be so fun, you guys. It is so, going to be so fun. Oh, hey, Summer. Um, good morning from Arizona. Okay, I'm going to bring this back down. And let's see if we can get this finished. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh boy. You guys, I have so much stuff everywhere. You have, you probably do have kind of an idea because you saw some stuff that was on my floor. I have to, when I get back on Sunday, this room is getting a, a definite makeover, cleaning. I've been in here like creating like crazy. All right. Um, oh my gosh, Sherry. Probably not the place and time to say it, but I made your barn quilt arrow and posted on Facebook Marketplace and got in trouble for selling. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's. That's not good. Um, here, I'll, I'll. I don't know how you could have done it any other way, but like to, to say that. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll show you guys what the. Um, D had said, um, no wax, but maybe dark wax on the top. So the top doesn't look so new. So well, I'll show you guys. This should be. All right. Let me hide that. Okay. One other quick question for you guys is these were the feet. Two of them were like the old school original feet. One was like handmade and there was not a fourth one. So I removed it and I kind of like um, another viewer had said, does it really need feet? Um, really, it probably doesn't, uh, but thoughts on adding feet. So if I do add feet, I have the perfect spindle. I'm going to chop into uh, four little chunks and then put those on the bottom. And I saved the screws. I have them in my little cabinet. Um, so I saved the screws so that I can reinstall new feet. And I'll do the same thing. Like I will drill it out just like they did. Oh boy. So doesn't need any feet in my opinion. I agree, Julie, just add a little bit more extra work for me, I think. I'm hoping this is dry enough. Should we test it? We'll know in a few seconds if it's dry enough. That's That side is dry. Okay, we're gonna just start working our way around. All right, yeah, exactly. You guys, 
I'm a little, I'm getting a little stressed out about Cranberry Fest because I want my booth to look so good. And I, just a little stress, just because if it is sturdy enough without them, leave them off. Yeah, it actually is very sturdy without them. It's just a flat bottom. And as soon as I get done doing this, I will show you because this will be complete. Um, and then I'm just going to seal it one last time. All right, I'm just going to cut that. One thing I try not to do is I try not to do this too soon because it can rip the paper otherwise. So learn from my mistakes. Don't sand until it's completely dry. Learn from my mistakes. But this side, I just noticed it was a little wet there. So. Anybody? Um, oh, thank you, Julie. She says, I'm sure your booth will look fabulous. Yes, it's just wrapping up all the projects. And our, like today in Wisconsin, I don't know if everyone in Wisconsin, but here in Appleton where I live, I walked outside and holy man, you guys, it is humid. Um, like really humid. So thank goodness I don't have to, I, it's not like a work, to, like where I'd be out in my driveway or out in my shop doing stuff because I don't think I could because it's that bad. Um, I went from the house out to my studio to do my last bit of taping and honestly, everything fogged up. Like my whole, my camera, um, I had to unfog the lens. It was bad because of the, just how, mo like, like, there's just must be that much humidity in the air or something. So, oh, D says, looks so good. Thanks. I think it's going to look so awesome, you guys. Julie says, it's been really hot here in Southwest Florida on the Gulf, Cape Coral. Cape Coral? Is that, did I, did I say it right? Oh. I always say stuff wrong. All right, so this is where it was a little wet, a little nervous. Okay. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna actually save that piece too. Okay, guys, we have this almost done. So here is the top with it. And again, some of these colors are coming off a little bright, but I love it. I think this turned out really great. And I, like I said, the top is coming off a little bit more bright than what it truly is, but I love it. Coral, coral, Cape Coral. Okay. Got it. Um, let's see here. Oh my goodness. Yes. It's been over a hundred here with humidity. I've been crafting indoors all week. That's what Meg said. Oh yes. Okay. Well, we got this baby done. Um, I am going to let this completely dry after it dries, which it will be dry when I get back. I am going to then seal the whole top portion of this again, and I am going to seal it with big top just to, I'm going to probably put a couple layers on here. Um, and then this will be ready for Cranberry Fest. Woohoo! I am so excited. All right. Um, let's chat about next week. Um, so I was thinking I have some Actually, I think I have two to three picnic baskets, and I thought it would be kind of cool to have those at Cranberry Fest. And I thought possibly like stacking them. 
I, I did that in the past. I stacked like three um, in a booth and they all sold. So one of them though is kind of different looking. Um, it had, it's more, it's not like the normal picnic basket. So um, that one, I want to do something possibly to like the top and then paint the around the edges. So I'm thinking I'm going to grab those and that will be like the next big project we'll be working on. Um, but I also, we've, I don't know. I think I, I have a lot of little projects that I want to bring. Um, but yes, we'll see. We are just going to keep tackling it. Otherwise there's a table too that I have, um, that I recently thrifted. I was at, one of the Goodwills and I ended up finding it's a shorter table. Um, it's perfect to put like on something, uh, like on a table to add height. Uh, so I can definitely stack things up or even like if, um, how I do my L shape in my booth, um, I can tuck it in and then again, add some height in an area too. Um, let's see here. Uh, Julie says, this looks beautiful. Twigs and Berry says, looks so pretty. Meg says, looks really good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all the help. And I will definitely post um, the color out there, too, and take some photos of this so you guys can see that. But I think Monday we'll be working on picnic baskets, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Um, unless I go in there and I come up with something totally different. Um, otherwise maybe some signs. Um, I'm not really sure. I have to look at my to-do list and then I'm going to just start grabbing, like I said, and we'll start finishing. But this is something I want to, uh, bring some different furniture pieces. So this is definitely something I want to bring. I also have some chairs. So maybe, maybe a chair. I don't know. We'll see how I feel on Monday and, and where my inspiration takes me. So, um, Hey, Dana. She says, love how it turned out. Great job. Thank you. And Julie says, have a great day fishing. Thanks, guys. So actually, I am going to cut this a little short because we aren't going to need to do any waxing. We have this project finished. And normally I stay on for an hour and I would possibly start something else. But because I have so much to do, I am going to cut this short. And we will see you guys Monday. Stay tuned for Friday's video. Um, I do, hopefully it's getting uploaded right now. It was like at 50% when I started um, going live. And that is all fall. So it's a lot of fall inspiration. So check that out. Um, Paige says, did I just catch you on a morning live? Oh, wait, I haven't been to bed. Oh, my gosh. Paige, get some sleep, girl. Uh, Nadine says, thanks for the video uh, from South Africa. Well, thanks for tuning in. All right. Um, well, you guys, have a great week. We will see you Monday. Bye.